Ready. Oh, they're gonna land. No. Nope. Ready, shoot them. Yeah! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. We are on the road this morning. <laughs> I've been kicking it around all morning long. I'm like, I do not know how and where to start today's video out. Probably because for one, I'm extremely excited today and I just want to get to the river. That's right, we're doing a river hunt. Ha <laughs> ha! And we're doing it with my farmer buddy Andy, the one that I went hunting with him and his dad on their pond. Yeah, we're going down on his river access. He's got some land that butts right up to the river, so it's not a long walk in. All we literally have to do is pull the truck up, throw the decoys out, and we're gonna stand in some really tall grass today. Fred's with us today, so he'll be right beside me. No blind, standing in tall grass, Kansas River hunt. It should be mallards only today, guys. I don't care what we shoot. I really don't care if we don't even shoot a bird today but it should be mallards. Should be them greenheads today, boys. Kansas River Hunt. I tried one last year. You guys have been requesting them a ton every single year. Last year's really didn't work out so swell. Me and Michael went, it didn't work. We didn't shoot anything, but it's still always an awesome time getting out on the river. A lot of highway ponds have been dug for our new highways, for our new highway bridges, you know what I mean? And a lot of them highway ponds have just robbed the river over. It has taken all of its mallards away. All of its duck action that it always used to have, it don't have anymore. But Andy's little spot, he's got some ducks on it. I have waited to do a river hunt for so long. We're still going to do that creek hunt. But first off, let's start with a good old duck river hunt. Now one thing I do know, guys, is a ton of you have requested this video for a lot of years. If you're one of them that have requested this video, heck, even if you're excited about this video, please, please, please just smash that thumbs up button right now. Let's get this video over 4,000 likes. You guys have been hooking it up and it helps the video so much. But today it's seven degrees out, hardly a breath of wind, and I am loving all my new Ducks thermal gear. I got the sandstone hoodie on, all thermal. Can't go wrong with throwing a beanie over a hat. If you want to pick up any of the cold gear from Ducks, I will link it all down in the description below. Well, we're following Andy back into the river, and I know somewhere back here we got across a creek. Oh yeah, whoa, it's way bigger than I thought. Better put her in four wheel drive, boys. <laughs> well, here's the creek we got across. And it's froze. Holy smokes. Well, let's get out old Frederick. Come on, buddy. Are you ready to go? <laughs> well, we got the spread all set up. Uh, I think I have out roughly about 20 decoys. Uh, one mojo today. But the sun's coming up. Let's get down on the water. Well, we are about, I don't know, five minutes out from shooting light. Look at our little spread. Got a mojo in the middle. Had to really push the weights into the sand with my feet. But look at this morning. We got a lot of fog coming off the river. It's absolutely gorgeous. Just quiet as can be. You just hear a little bit of water and the decoys moving. This is nice. I don't care if we even shoot a duck today. That right there is gorgeous. What you think, Fred? Are you ready? Huh? Huh? You're ready, aren't you? That water's cold. Ho ho ho. You wait till that water hits him where the sun don't shine. He's gonna be squealing. <laughs> it is absolutely frigid out here. It's sitting at seven degrees still. Luckily, we don't have a bunch of wind. I guess if we did, it'd probably help the ducks get down if there is any ducks, but this is a gorgeous morning, y'all. <laughs> It is. They're cruising the river. <laughs> They're cruising the river. That's a good sign. Well, that's a good sign. We've seen our first group of about seven or eight mallards right there. You know, one thing that they do, they'll always pass you high. 
they'll go down river they'll get down and they'll come back and you won't see them until they're right in front of you yeah. and you're spraying and praying so the bad thing is good thing is we didn't have to build a blind today y'all bad thing is we can't see anything that's going to be coming towards us from the left <laughs> make it right here shoot him shoot him nice shot <laughs> I'm not skunked, baby. Just like that. Good yep. call. Good call. Look at Fred. He's eating that river up. I barely hit him in the butt. Awesome. Dude. Good, Fred. Here. Good boy. I didn't even turn off the camera and I was like, you won't see him coming from the left. We're still recording. I bet Fred is going, that is cold. Let's go, Fred. Here. He don't, he's never fought a current before, so he don't know what's going on. Here, Fred. Is that cold? You're gonna be a shivering unit. That was bad. Dude, he came right over the mojo. Yep. Boom. Good boy. Give. There we go. Look at that big old greeny. Good looking Drake right nice. there. Nice. Oh, well, this might get good, Andy. Skunks out of the boat. Fred's wet. I'm sure he's he gonna be hurting. <laughs> Heel, set. That's a good boy. You're gonna have ice hanging from your whiskers here in a minute, bud. Oh, they love it. Oh, we're seeing good groups. Real good groups. Could be the same group. Yeah, it could be. Just, just trucking the river back and forth. I'm gonna leave the camera rolling here because last time we seen them, we gave it about 15 seconds and we smoked a greenhead. Fred, what do you think? You cold? You're doing pretty good. Oh, oh. that's my Freddy. That's my Freddy. I bet you you're just a little cold puppy. Hunting the river, guys. Filming hunting the river is not that easy because. I don't know when to have the camera on or off. Can't see him coming, you know what I mean? I'm lucky I caught that one shot. Well, we got a decoy on the run. Woo, it's cold out here, y'all. Well, little update. Uh, the GoPro battery is saying dead, but it's at 100%. The cold, uh, it being seven degrees, just put it that way. Every time I hunt with a GoPro in this type of weather, the batteries, they they don't last gopro's like yeah they last in you know zero degree weather no for about 10 minutes and they're and then after that they're done oh fred he's been whining he wants some treats do you want a treat huh do you here fred looky here looky here oh treats for freddy that good buddy you like them pretzels fred loves his pretzels Mm. Well, got the GoPro fired back up. Uh, it's a struggling unit. We're at half battery now. Had to put it in the trousers and warm her up. But the sun's coming up. The mojo's almost dead. It's barely moving. Had to go rescue a few decoys. This is river hunting, y'all. <laughs> if you're liking the video, I know there's not a bunch of shooting going on, but you know what? It's not all about hunting. Like I always say, you get out here, you enjoy the morning, conversate, BS, Enjoy the dog, listen to the dog shiver and whine, you know. If you guys liked the video, smash the thumbs up. Well, I'm gonna show you the spread a little bit. It's not much of a spread. We got two decoys up here and I'm having to stack them close to the bank uh, because the current out there, just like that one there, he's floating away again. The current gets pretty strong. So I just got a dozen floaters up against the bank here. I gotta go rescue a decoy again. One tip guys, Fred set. Look, he don't even want to get in the water, it's so cold. One tip, guys, if you're having a hard time with your decoys floating away, for one thing, a lot of times when they float away is they get leaves or, or ice built up here and they become heavy. But another thing I do is drop your, drop your weight in there. When you find it, step on it and push it down into the dirt. The deeper you can get that weight down in the soil, it's gonna stay there better. If you guys have any uh, go-to tactics, maybe some different rigs, maybe some different styles of weights, anchors, drop a comment down below. 
Tell me what your secret is so your decoys don't float away. I'd love to hear it because my decoys, I've about lost five of them so far. Caught us off guard. Yeah, it did a lot. Darn it. We're sitting here just yapping. We've been yapping for probably 45 minutes. Two mallards just buzz right over our heads. We might get some action here. It's late morning. We're probably, what are we sitting at? About 8.15? Yeah, at least 8.15. Probably 8.15. I think I said 15 minutes and we're load up, but now we've seen two ducks. We ain't gonna want to leave. Ready? Okay. Oh, they're gonna land. Nope. Oh. Ready? Shoot them. Go down! Man, that girl was freaking yeah. high. Well, we got the greenie down. Yes. Nice. Look, he is fine. <laughs> is my camera going? Yes! Woohoo! We got it on film. Good job, Fred. Where's that bird? Dead bird! It's. Oh, I need a shell. No, he'll get it. I got a shell right here. Oh, get it, Fred! Dead bird! He. <laughs> look at him. He's getting after it. He is chasing that mallard. Woohoo! Man, that was a pair. They did it right over the mojo. The mojo's barely moving yet. That was awesome. Fred, I don't know where he went. He's he is chasing a mallard. He's after him. Woo! That was awesome. Andy spotted them two ducks. I mean, probably a quarter mile down. We got ready. Actually got the camera on that was perfect that bird went into a brush pile fred he's trying to get him dead bird he's in this brush pile keep your eye out and in, in case he goes underwater and pops up where's he at fred where's he at Where'd he go? Where's he at, Frederick? Did he drown himself or what? Where's he at, Frederick? Fred, dead bird! Dead bird, where's he at? Probably in here. Probably dove underneath here. And he's trapped underneath this brush, I bet. You little sucker. Did he come up here? Where's that dead bird? That's a green head, Fred. Where's he at? Man, I folded him pretty good, but he was not all the way dead, darn it. He dove on us. That sucks. I don't see him. Oh, be darn. I don't know. I think he dove underneath a brush pile and drowned himself. That's what it looks like. A bird, Fred. He's, in, he's underneath that. I've tried. I can't find him anywhere. They do that sometimes. A good brush pile like that with a bunch of water underneath it. They'll dive under there. And they'll just drown themselves. Get ready. Oh, that, wait, 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 no, 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 no. That's, that's a kill Dude. deer. It looked Dude. just like a duck, did didn't it? Did you see it? <laughs> it just went. Yeah, it did. <laughs> that sucker body buildered out and cupped his wings. Me and Andy were sold. It was a kill deer. You little scoundrel. Smallest kill on it looked like a teal. It, it was so small for a while. Uh, our eyes, I think we're wanting to see a duck so bad. <laughs> It decoyed and everything though. It did. Careful out there y'all. Don't be shooting no kill deer or anything. Make sure you know what it is before you go pulling that trigger. Well, me and Fred, we're on the other side of the river again. I went and got my waterproof gloves on. We're gonna go up to this tree pile. I'm gonna see if I can move some limbs out of the way. I really wanna find that mallard. I left my calls and my gun back over there so I ain't gotta worry about them getting wet. 
Time to get dirty. Come on, Frederick. Come on, Frederick. You having fun? That's a big boy. That's Frederick. That's Freddy. He's loving the river. This is Fred's first river hunt. You liking it, buddy? He's loving it. He's happy. He ain't even cold. He's got so much adrenaline. Here he is. This is our our tree where our duck is. I believe he's under here. I hope so. Let's see if we can move this thing. Oh, maybe not. Oh, that's heavy. Yep. That's a heavy brute there, dude. We gotta find that duck. Where's he at, Fred? See, it's not that deep under there. That's my deal, it's not deep. It's not deep at all. Where'd he go, Fred? Huh? Is he in there? This is a big old tree. There's no way I'm gonna move this thing. Yeah, right. Fred and I were moving on upstream here. We're gonna check a couple more, see if he got up in here. I don't know. I doubt it. I can't say I didn't try. How awesome is this though? I've been wanting to duck hunt the river forever. Let's go, Fred. Come on. Here. Come on, Fred, here. Let's go. He jumped right on the stick. <laughs> he is loving the river. Look at him. That's a good Fred Ridge. Come on. Well, we're pulling out of the field here. Driving across planted wheat yet again. Seems like every time I hunt with Andy, I'm driving across his planted wheat field. <laughs> I don't recommend doing that unless you're with the farmer, like I said last time. But, man, it was so good to get back out on the river. It has been forever since I have actually shot a duck on the river here at home. Big shout out to Andy. Big shout out, man, getting me out here. Coming and hunting with me on a weekday. Pretty cool back here. Got to cross through a little creek. The ducks have been using the creek right where we're gonna cross. Nope, no ducks today. This is the little creek, look at this. <laughs> oh, it's frozen. He's going through a big old shoe water. He's going busting some ice. Hi girls, hi girls, hi babies. Hi there. How you doing? How you doing? So Andy, uh, him and his dad, they run the farm here and they do everything from cattle to wheat crop, bean crop, corn crop, sorghum, milo, um, a little bit of everything farms. So they got quite the operation going on out here. Andy was telling me when we were hunting that uh, the farm has been in the family and around for 110 years, 120 years, 110, 120 years. How amazing is that? A lot of hard work, a lot of time invested in this place. Well, we are back home. I got home and noticed one thing. All the animals water, the pigeons water, the dogs water, everything is just froze. Fred, he, he's hungry. That's what he's ready to do. Look at him. He knows. He knows. Here you go, Fred. Here you go. It's his favorite time of the day when we get home from the hunt and this boy gets some food. Look at him. Sit. Sit. He'll wait right there until I come. Oh, here we go. Look at him. Look at him. He's excited. He's excited. Here you go, Fred. Here you go, buddy. Oh. Easy, dude. Calm down. You guys have been begging for a pigeon update. Now, I know, I hyped it up a lot saying when winter comes around, the pigeon trapping is going to pick up. And guys, I'm sorry. The last time I left for North Dakota, I pulled the traps. I set them up against the building because I was going to be out of town for a while and I couldn't check them. And I have yet to go set them back up. Believe me. I promise I'll get it done today. But y'all have been wanting a pigeon update here. This is uh, 
This is the pigeon. We got a lot of new waterfowl viewers here, and uh, this is what we did during the summer is we trapped and raised pigeons. So we have some breeding pairs in here and they're doing great. Look at them. There's my purebred whites. They're looking great. Here's some, that's uh, that's one of the pairs. They're paired. There's old Clark up there though, looking Clarkish. There's our grizzle. And here's one of our babies that we've already hatched. The last two to three days, the pigeon water has froze every single night. And uh, I'm just having to stay on top of it because they are in a cage. They can't leave to go get water. I am their only source of water. So all this freezing of water between the dogs and the pets, I'm questioning whether I need more farm animals because uh, I think we're planning on moving. We'll see if it actually works out here, but uh, right now we're planning on moving and uh, we're gonna be out in the country some more. So it's gonna give us some opportunity, some new opportunity. I'm gonna miss this place if we do move, but it's gonna give us some area to roam, to raise animals. We want horses and stuff, so we'll see if it works out. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a lot of fun for me to get out on the river with Andy. Didn't have to worry about sitting up a blind. Didn't have to worry about seven, 16, 35 dozen decoys, you know, what we've been doing for the field hunts. What an awesome time. Thank you, Andy, for uh, getting out there with me this morning. Even though it was only six to seven degrees out, we absolutely had no wind, so that didn't help anything. But like I said, if you guys wanna see more river hunts, drop a comment down below and let me know. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button on this video if you like the river hunts. And like I said, all the ducks gear I will link down in the description below. Head on over there, check out everything we got. Whenever you guys purchase something over there, it goes directly to supporting the channel and helping me bring you guys more of these videos. Hit that notification bell. Big shout out to my Noti squad. But until next time, y'all. Peace.